Bless each and every one of you. This is uh, Pastor Ralph, Michael Rivera, and I wanted to wish you and your family a safe and blessed uh, New Year's. Glory to God. Out with the old, in with the new. Resolutions for the New Year is the discussion of the day. And as the New Year begins, I am reminded of the fact that we are one year closer to the day of our death, or the day that the Lord returns. And it's the day that we will stand before the Lord in judgment. 2 Corinthians 5.10 speaks about that. And on that day, the Bible teaches us that he will say one or two things. Come, you blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Matthew 25.34. Or, depart from me, you cursed into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Matthew 25.41. Brothers and sisters, since we are one year closer um, to that day when our final destiny will be forever determined, um, let us use this opportunity, glory to God, to provoke your thinking as to how you used your time last year and to suggest some resolutions, glory to God, for the coming year, amen? My goal is to encourage us to make better use of the time we have left and to prepare us for the day of reckoning, glory to God, that awaits each and every one of us. So let us begin then by asking this question. In the past year, has our relationship with God and Christ improved? In other words, have we drawn nearer to God, as spoken of in James 4, 8? Bearing in mind that a close relationship depends upon good communication, brothers and sisters. Have we been faithful to, in listening to God through his word? Another year has come by and gone by, and, and the question is, did we read through the Bible this year? If not, and especially if we never have, can we honestly say that we are taking our relationship with God seriously? Have we been steadfast in talking to God through prayer? Any effective communication requires a two-way street, brothers and sisters. Therefore, fervent Bible study should be always joined by fervent prayer. Pray to God. Glory to God. Has our degree of prayerfulness increased or decreased? Has our relationship with our brethren improved? In other words, has our love for one another increased this year? Are we any closer to one another than we were a year ago? In other words, with our brothers and sisters in the church in Christ. Glory to God. Amen. I mean, have we taken the time out to get to know their names and uh, taken the time out to introduce ourselves to new brothers and sisters, uh, exchange phone numbers, fellowship with them, you know, things of that nature? What have we done to... Uh, improve our relationships with our brothers and sisters in Christ in the last year. And here's another question. Has our relationship with those in the world improved? How about those that are, are lost? The people that we interact with on a daily basis, has that improved? Has that, you know, gotten better for us? As people of God, we have an important responsibility, the Bible teaches us, towards those in the world. You can read about that in Matthew chapter 5, uh, verses 13 through 16. You'll read that it tells us that we are required to be a positive influence. You are the salt of the earth. To demonstrate a better way, you are the light of the world. Have we made progress this year in developing meaningful relationships with the people of the world so that the light of Christ can be seen in our lives, so the gospel of Christ can be communicated to them? Or are we like most of neighbors in this day and age? living next to each other, but not really knowing one another. Haven't forgotten the lost art of Southern hospitality. <laughs> the questions I'm asking, you know, can be summarized uh, this way. Another year has gone by, brothers and sisters. And the question is, have we made good use of the time that the Lord has given us, or have we wasted it? See, it is likely that all of us in some degree have not made good use of the past year. But at this point, let's apply the words of Paul, which says, Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. That's Philippians chapter 3, verses 13, 14. 
With this attitude of pressing forward, that's the point, let me suggest the following reasons for the year ahead. Let's look at some of these resolutions. Uh, how about we resolve to draw nearer to God in Christ? See, by having a daily reading program of God's living and abiding word, Hebrews 4.12, we could do this. We could read the Old Testament this year, and we could, we could strive to read the New Testament also. We could do this by being a diligent prayer, you know, in, in our prayer life, improving our prayer life. Hebrews 4, 14, 16 speaks about that. Let us be a thankful people in 2022. Colossians 4, 2 and 1 Thessalonians chapter 15, verses 17 and 18 talks about that. Uh, being thankful, thankful for everything that the Lord has, has helped us, you know, to make it through. Everything that he will help us to endure in the upcoming year. Let us just be thankful. Let's be a thankful people. Perhaps Daniel's custom of praying three times a day would be worthy of, you know, of imitating. That's Daniel 6.10. How about we resolve to become closer to the people in and around our churches by making it a point to learn somebody else's name this year, some, some, some different people. Uh, you know, each week we could connect uh, with a few names and some faces until we learn them all. We learn who our brothers and sisters in Christ are in our church. Amen. We could always pick up the phone and give them a call. Amen. And find different ways to just reach out and say, hey, hi, how you doing? I'm brother such and such or I'm sister such and such. Amen. See, the thing is, we want to take the time out to get to know one another. And we want to resolve to get to know non-Christian people as well and provide them with an opportunity to get to know us. It's important that we take the time out to, to build meaningful relationships with people that are lost and, and, and take advantage of these opportunities uh, so that we can, you know, try to share the gospel of Christ Jesus. Amen. So these resolutions are just a few of the things that, you know, I wanted to suggest. I'm sure that there are more out there, but and they're simplistic. But I, I chose these because I know that when and if you implement them, or let me throw myself in there as well, when we implement them, uh, they go a long way to producing the kind of lifestyle uh, that is uh, becoming of Christians and uh, to increasing closer relationships with God, uh, our brothers and sisters in Christ, and, 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 and improving relationships with the lost. And these things will bless our lives. These, you know, reading the Word of God, praying more, interacting more with our brothers and sisters in the church, interacting with our neighbors. You know, there'll be blessings to the church and our community. So uh, to create a conscious, uh, clearer conscious next year at this time, you know, because we could say, you know what, I really took the time out to improve my reading uh, the Word of God. I actually, you know, did read the Old Testament or, you know, I, I did read the entire New Testament or I read both or a little of both. I actually took the time out to really, really get into my Word, you know, and and, and, and to improve my prayer life. So, you know, I, and when, when we count down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we say, Happy New Year's, if it's God's will, and we talk about, well, and another year gone, and uh, a new year upon us, we'll be able to reflect back and say, you know what? I am so glad that I, I improved my, 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 my relationship with not only you know, the people that were lost, and not only with my brothers and sisters, not only with my, uh, in, in the church, and all my brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I improved my relationship with God the Father. Amen? So we'll have a clearer conscience next year at this time. You know, time is, fresh, is a precious commodity given to us by God. That is truly like a vapor. Amen? So, the old year ends and the new begins with pages clean and new. And what is written on each page, brothers and sisters, will now depend on you. You can't relive the past, erasing every wrong. For once the year or day is spent, it's forever gone. Hallelujah. But don't think up in dark despair if you have failed some test. Seek God's forgiveness and resolve henceforth to do your very best. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Once again, I'm Pastor Ralph Michael Rivera, and I'm just so excited to be able to participate in this devotional. May the Lord watch over you. May he bless you and your family. Mm -hmm.